Hello and welcome to this answer explanation video. This video will talk you through the answers to the compare number sentences worksheet for year one and we'll talk you through some of the tricky bits. In this video I will take you through the answers to the compare number sentences worksheet. So let's start with question one. Circle the number sentence with the smallest answer. So we need to find out the answers to each calculation to find the smallest answer. To do this I'm going to draw my dots. You could count on in your head or count by using a number line. So I'm going to do 3 add 9 which is 3 dots and 9 more dots. 3 and 9. I'm going to start from 9 and I'm going to count on 3 to get to my answer. 9, 10, 11, 12. My answer is 12. Okay, B, we've got 12 take away 8, so that's 12 dots. Subtract 8, so I'm going to cross 8 out. That leaves me 1, 2, 3, 4 remaining. Okay, and the last one, 6 plus 7, so 6 dots. And 7 more. Okay, and now I need to count up to see how many there are together. I'm going to count on from 7 because that's my larger number. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So remember, I'm looking for the number sentence with the smallest answer. Well, it's B because 4 is the smallest number. Insert the symbol to complete the statement below. We've got 8 add 6 and 19 subtract 3. Again, we need to find out the answer to each calculation to know which symbol to add. So first of all, let's do 8 add 6. And six more. And I'm going to count on from eight. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. My answer is fourteen. Now for nineteen, take away three. And I'm crossing out three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So now I've got 14 and 16. I know which symbol I need to put in. 14 is smaller than 16. So that's the symbol that I need. 14 is smaller than 16. Question number three. Circle the symbol Joe should hold up to complete the statement. Again, we need to find out the answer to each calculation to know which symbol to use. So we've got our eight add seven again. So eight dots and seven more. And I'm going to start from 8 and count on 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now, I know that the next calculation is 15 subtract 3. And we're taking away from 15, which is the number we've got here. It's the same number. If we take any number away from 15 that's above 0, we're going to get a number that's less than 15. And that means that 15 is going to be more than whatever the answer to this calculation is, which means I'm going to need the more than symbol. But let's count to check. So I need 15 subtract 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And 15 is more than 12, so that's the correct symbol. Okay, which statement is incorrect? We need to solve the calculations to find out which one is incorrect. So we've got our seven dots and six more. And we're counting on from seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen is greater than nine plus two, so nine dots. And two more. Nine, ten, eleven. Thirteen is greater than eleven. That one is correct. Remember, we're looking for the one that is incorrect. 16 subtract 4 is our next one then. And we're taking away 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then we've got 7 add 7. I know my knowledge of doubles here. I know that 7 add 7 is 14, but you could do it with your dots. We've got 12 is equal to 14. Well, that one's not right because 12 is smaller than 14. So we've got so far B being incorrect. But we also need to check C to make sure that that one is correct. So let's do that now. 19 dots. So 
subtracting seven. And that leaves us with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve is less than eight plus six, so we need eight dots and six more. And we can count on from eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 12 is less than 14. Well, that one's correct as well. So B is incorrect. Okay, time for question five. Complete the comparison statement using the digit cards. Now, looking at the numbers given, I have to make two calculations that are equal. I can see that 13 is the largest number. So, first of all, it would make sense to use this number and add it to the smallest number. Then add together the two numbers remaining and see if they are equal. That's a really good place to start. So I've got 13 as the greatest number and 4 as the smallest number. So let's do let's start by doing 13 and 4 and see if this works. So I need 13 dots. And 4 more. And I'm going to count on from 13. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I've used 13, I've used 4, that leaves me with 9 and 8. So let's try to add 9 and 8 together and see if we get the same answer. So 9 dots and 8 more. And I'm counting on from 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 is equal to 17. I've used all the digit cards and I have written my comparison statement that is correct. So, remember, you could mix up the order of this. So, for example, rather than having 13 add 4, you could have 4 add 13 equals 8 add 9, as long as the calculations give the same answer. Question 6 then. True or false? 16 subtract 7 is equal to 13 subtract 4. Prove it. So, let's find out the answer to each calculation to see if, they, if the answers are equal. And I'm subtracting 7. That gives me 9. Okay, 9 is equal to 13 subtract 4. So I need my 13. And I'm taking away 4. And that leaves me with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 is equal to 9. So it is true because both the calculations give the same answer. So for the last question, what calculation could be hidden behind the splat? Find three possibilities. So we need to find calculations that give an answer greater than 13 subtract 2, as 13 subtract 2 is smaller than the missing calculation. So first, let's find out what the answer to 13 subtract 2 is. So 13 dots taking away 2. And that leaves me with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so 11 is smaller than something. So what calculations could we do? We could do adds or takeaways as long as they give an answer that's more than 11. I'm going to stick with adds. I'm just going to do adds. And if I always add 2, 13, I'm always going to have a number that's bigger than the answer to this calculation here. So I'm going to do 13 add 1, 13 add 2, and 13 add 3. But let's just check to see if I am correct. So I'm going to have my 13 dots. So I've got 13 and I'm going to add 1. So 13, 14. That will give me an answer of 14. 11 is smaller than 14, so that one is correct. If I added two dots, I'm just going to add one more to the one I added there. Now I have added two, 13, 14, 15. 11 is smaller than 15, so that one's correct as well. This time I'm going to add three dots. So I had 13, 14, 15, 16. 11 is smaller than 16, so that one is correct as well. That was the answer explanation video for the compare number sentences worksheet for year one. If you want to watch a video tutorial linked to this skill, visit kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk. For more resources linked to this learning, visit classroomsecrets.co.uk.